Hello everyone and what we're going to talk about here is actually bringing together so the properties and some, and the templates so we, we talked previously about creating properties allocating properties to pages now what we're going to do is talk about how you can actually incorporate that in the template so you can call up templates you can transclude templates onto pages and through the templates you can assign the page the properties so let me show you what that means so previously, the, there was a previous um, tutorial on templates and how you can actually call templates, but also what you can do is create a variable. So this is the variable, so it's warning and reason, and what you could do is you could change that to any, um, any variable that you wanted. And the way you do that is you call the template using the double curly brackets, and the warning reason equals and whatever value you chose there would actually um, would actually uh, go into the template. So and that meant that you could call the template, but of course change the value. So you could have variables inside those templates that could be recalled. And what we want to do now is actually um, choosing to put a property variable inside that template. So. We talked about properties previously, so that's how we annotate a property or uh, um, allocate a property to a page, and we make that variable a property. Now, the question you might be asking is, why would you want to do that? And actually, this is this is the real power of Semantic Media Wiki in, uh, with using templates. So, for example, um, what we'll do is we'll create a property called Has Page Warning Property. And we will also limit its value so it can either be inaccurate, incomplete, or draft. And so if in your wiki you can call you can call up this template or allocate this template to lots of pages, you know, whether they're incomplete, inaccurate, or draft. And then what you can do is then you can query and search for those pages that are all drafts or all incomplete. So this again and and we'll have further tutorials where we have larger templates and more properties that we're assigning to the pages this allows you now to create that structured data inside the pages so let's just demonstrate how you would do that so we talked about the template field so this was a variable um, inside the three curly brackets and really what we want is a property name um, from a previous lecture we talked about that's so how we allocate the property the property name and what the property is and so what you do is you place the variable in there so this is the property field and what we mean by that is you'll have the um, whatever the uh, so on the previous it's warning reason so that's the property field so you'll have warning reason in there that's the property name so on the previous slide is has page warning property And so the idea is that, that this is inside the template and then you have warning uh, warning property equals and what the uh, what the value is and it can only be one of those three values. And so combining the template variable and the property um, produces this. So this is uh, sorry, it produces this, but also what you may want and we talked about this previously as well is that you may want a default property so if an a property isn't assigned what you may want is a default property value as well and you just separate that with a uh, pipe now i know this is be this is quite complicated so what we'll do is demonstrate it to you on the wiki but what we're doing and that's why there have been so many previous tutorials on on building up your basics of, of media wiki and semantic media wiki we're now smashing it all together and sh and then and then creating these pages and literally the light bulb should be going off because if you can understand that advantage of creating templates being creating properties inside those templates and being alloc being able to allocate those properties on various pages it starts to become a really powerful uh, product so let's go over to the wiki and show you how you would create this so here we are on the wiki and this is the template so template page warning and as you can see the template can be called by the double brackets and the warning reason and then you put in now because this hasn't got a default when the template is called this is what it looks like so 
you'd see the, um, the variable there because it hasn't been assigned not actually uh, showing so it looks a little bit confusing so the first thing you should always do is you should always have a default and we talked about this previously so we'll say the default is inaccurate and if I just show on preview there so as you can see what happens is it defaults to inaccurate if no value is given so what we wanted to do is we wanted to turn this into a property so the way we wanted to do that was to double brackets has warning I can't remember what I called it it is has page warning property thank you so has page warning property and then the double colon and this is the same inside and then we need to close off those two square brackets so we save those changes and what we see is again it looks no different as far as as far as you can tell now what we need to do is to also create the property and also uh, limit uh, limit the um, values that are allowed. So if I go to special page, go down to create property, has page warning property. Would you look at that? I've already created it. Okay, um, let's just make sure. Have I already limited the values? This would be even better. So I've just typed in property colon has page warning property and as you can see there is already um, there's already been limited to these values that I talked about before and we've already got some pages that uh, have been actually allocated this but actually what I'm going to do is just go to these pages I've blanked them so so you can see there's one two and three um, what we'll see at the moment is one is inaccurate, two is a draft, and three is inaccurate. So we'll change that around a bit. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, show you how this actually changes. So going back to the actual template that we created, there we go. So all we need to do is to copy that. That is what we're going to be taking across into these pages. So this is page one. We'll give the reason of um, inaccurate, save changes. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll make them all inaccurate. Exactly the same. and exactly the same so save changes excellent if you go into any of these pages you see the browse properties which didn't exist before you can see it's inaccurate excellent so let's go to this so you'll see that page two is recorded as draft because that's what it previously was what we'll do is we'll refresh this page and hey presto, we've now got, you'll see I've been playing around with this, so there's some other ones, but you'll see that that's now changed. And so if I go to page three, edit it, change it to draft, save changes, shows draft there, and back to these properties, refresh, look at that, that's changed at draft. Okay, so what's really important here is I'm now using these templates to change the properties of the pages. And what it later on means is what I'll do is actually I'll create a page now which will search for all the pages that are inaccurate. 
So bear with me a second, and I'll I'll show you a page with a query, which will then uh, which will then show you those pages. So here we are on a page which uh, I've called inaccurate. Very good. And what it's done is it's collected all the pages that are inaccurate. And if you can see, this is done through a query. So it's asking has page. And then this is basically equivalent to equals to inaccurate. Um, we won't deal with queries at the moment. I'll put a, a good, very good resource for queries. But the idea is that, of course, when you assign the properties to these pages, then you can start to query them. So you can have a page like this. So if I have a look at this page, we've got uh, page one and two, but we haven't got page three. If I go across to page three, because that's draft and I edit that, I change it to inaccurate. What I will do is, if you remember, it defaults to inaccurate, if you remember, from the template. So just to prove that it does default. Oh, it doesn't default. Let's go and find out why. Inaccurate, warning reasons, that should. Save changes. OK. Let's have a quick look. Warning reason. Oh, sorry. It's because I put warning reason equals, and that means it actually doesn't default. There we go. So good. Um, so there we go. That's defaulted to inaccurate. So if we go over to the page, we should see page three. But what we need to do is refresh this. So we sometimes have to force a refresh. Nope. So that didn't work. So what we do to force the refresh is go in, edit, save changes, and there you go. There's the third one. So as you can see, quite quickly, you have these pages which are can be used to collate all the other pages that have certain properties. So although we've just allocated one property to this page, you could imagine you could have multiple properties and you could have just pages that are inaccurate that haven't been edited in uh, or have been edited in the last week or something like that or have a number of views or so on and so on. So straight away you can have pages which are collating that information that you have out there and you've used these templates to be able to make it very very simple to allocate these properties to these pages. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to move on to a whole work through from uh, creating the properties, creating the templates and then also using forms to easily fill some fill these uh, fill these templates in so it makes it really easy to allocate properties to these pages and we'll be doing that using um, quite a common thing called info boxes within a wiki so thank you very much